How's it going everyone? Welcome back to lesson two, walk in my shoes. In today's lesson, we're gonna learn three things. How to explain your point of view, how to look at problems, and how to listen to others. So let's go ahead and get this started. Before we start though, I wanna play a little game. So here are the instructions. I'm gonna read a statement. If that statement bothers you, stay seated. If the statement kind of bothers you, stand up. But if the statement really bothers you, stand up, wave your hands around, whatever you want to do. Alright, so if I got it, let's go ahead and start. First one, it really bugs me when somebody goes into my room without asking. Second one, it really bugs me when someone else in my family gets attention. Number three, it really bugs me when I get blamed for something I did not do. The fourth one, it really bugs me when someone takes the last bag of Takis. It really bugs me when I do not get to play video games. Okay, it really bugs me when people make fun of other people. Alright, last one. It really bugs me when I'm not allowed to play outside. Okay, so do you think everyone answered the same way? Nope. Everyone has a different point of view. We all want to think that our way is the only way, but unfortunately that's not possible. So what we're going to do is we're going to learn how to explain your point of view. So we're going to make a deal. What's a deal? It's an agreement. So you might say, I'll do this if you do that, but both people get something out of the decision. Making a deal is easy. All you have to do is express your feeling, listen to the other person, and there you go. You have a deal. So expressing your feelings is the first step if you want to come to an agreement. So for example, let's say me and a friend are trying to decide whether we want to play basketball or soccer. I could be like, I want to play soccer because we played basketball yesterday and I kind of want to try something different. Or I think we should play basketball because our soccer ball is flat. Or I could say, I feel that we should play soccer for the first 30 minutes and then for the second 30 minutes we could play basketball because then we both get what we want. So after we've expressed our feelings, we want to move over to the second part of making a deal, which is to listen to the other person. So we switch places and try to look at the argument from the other person's side. So you restate what you heard the other person say, then ask if that's how they meant it. You can do this by saying, you think because, or you want because, right? For example, you can say, you think we should play basketball because our soccer ball is flat, right? Or you want to play soccer because we played basketball yesterday, right? So after you've done that, you've already listened to the person. So you express your feelings, listen to the person. Now the last thing you have to do is make the deal. And to make the deal is easy. All you have to do is come to an agreement, which is like, okay, fine. I do think we should play soccer for the first 30 minutes and then we can play basketball for the next 30 minutes. That sounds like a great deal. Let's do it. But does this always work? What do you think? Do you think this always works? Well, no, it really doesn't. But this is way better than fighting or arguing. So if you can't come to an agreement, that's okay. Just leave it alone. Walk away. Because remember, what we don't want is we don't want any fighting or arguing. If you can work out a deal, Excellent, that's awesome, great job. But if you can't, it's okay, not the end of the world. You'll try to make a better deal next time. The next thing I wanna to try to teach you is how to look at problems. And trust me, this one is not always easy. So check this out. Cody and Sydney are doing a community service project for their 4-H club. Cody wants to collect canned foods for families during the holidays. Sydney wants to collect toys for kiddos in the community during the holidays. 
Which one would you choose? See how this is pretty difficult because they're both trying to do something good, but you could only choose one. So think about that. This one's a little easier. Kelly and Mike got home from school. They want a quick snack and find some peanut butter crackers and an apple. Kelly wants the apple because it is her favorite snack. Mike wants the apple because he is allergic to peanuts and cannot eat peanut butter. This one's pretty clear what you should do. I'll let you think about it and then I'll tell you the answer. So Kelly should definitely let Mike have the apple or they can not eat the peanut butter and they could split the apple in half so they both get what they want. So two options there. But for that first one, you're going to have to come up with your own solution. Maybe talk about it with somebody, talk about it with your teacher, talk about it with your parents. That would actually be kind of fun and see what they would do. Would you choose the canned food project or would you do the toy collection project? To look at a problem, I'm gonna keep it short and simple. Gather your information, say your thoughts, listen to others, and make a choice. Some choices are gonna be very easy to make, kinda like that peanut butter and apple scenario. Other choices are gonna be pretty hard, kinda like that community service project. But do your best. Again, talk to others and see what, how they feel. That's how you're gonna come up with a really good solution. So the last thing guys, home stretch, is how to listen to others. And this one is the quickest one I'm gonna teach you. It's to walk in their shoes. What do I mean by that? I mean, listen to the person and try to see things the way they're seeing it. You might not always agree, but if you automatically disagree and don't even take their thoughts into consideration, that is most likely gonna lead to a disagreement, an argument, or some sort of fight. So just don't do that. Walk in their shoes. Listen to what they have to say. This is a life skill. It is not just for school. You will be using this for the rest of your life. Being able to solve problems and listening to others can keep fights and arguments from happening. It always feels better to laugh and smile than it does to be mad or sad. So walk in their shoes, keep the peace, and that's pretty much it guys. Here are my final thoughts. So we covered a lot in this lesson guys, but remember communication is everything. No one is ever gonna know how you feel if you never express yourself. Tell them how you feel, but do it in a positive manner. Another thing guys is listen. Listen to others, walk in their shoes. Try to understand where they're coming from. One of the most valuable life skills that you can have is being able to problem solve. If you want to show that you're mature and that you want to impress someone, show them that you can problem solve. Show them that you can come up with peaceful solutions. That right there is the key. I'm telling you, it's the key. Being able to come up with solutions that are great for all parties is one of the hardest things that anyone can do, whether you're a kid or an adult. It's difficult. But practicing it now, being able to express your feelings in a positive manner, being able to listen and actually listen and walk in their shoes, man, if you start now, by the time you get older, you're going to be well equipped to be able to tackle even bigger issues. So give it a try, guys. Again, go outside, have some fun, be kids, and stay positive. We will see y'all in the next lesson.